Next week, I wanted to mention this. Big up Lancey Foe. Big up flipping Lancey Foe. Clutch of the Shade Borough. Have you seen the Lancey Foe transformation? Have you seen how absolutely wham he's become in like what? Less than two years, probably? <laughs> he's become absolutely hench. He went from being like a legit model frame, right? In terms of how skinny he was. Right, legit like runway model kind of frame, very, very, um, sl very slight, very skinny, very kind of young thug physique looking. All of a sudden, he's got completely wham. Now, people are speculating online is it steroids? Is it just African genes? Um, from what I've been led to believe, he's Ugandan or something. So, you know, Ugandan dudes aren't the biggest. So maybe there is an element, especially considering how slight he was in frame, maybe there's an element of him actually being on gear. That probably is the reason why he looks the way he does. But even if he's not on gear, or even if he is on gear, sorry, the level of dedication it takes to go from looking like that to this, especially when it goes to being going in the gym, especially as an artist, is a lot. So we have to kind of give it to the guy for going to that kind of level because he looks really really flipping he looks whammer than wham than whammy than whammy do you know what I mean he actually looks absolutely massive so big up him for doing so but one of the annoying things about looking this size and I know it not because I look this size because of muscle because it's not it's mostly fat the one of the things that's annoying about looking this size is that as good as it looks in t-shirts like you know there's nothing better than having your biceps popping you know underneath your flipping t-shirts your chest looking fucking 3d and shit right there's nothing better now your actual chest you know tits banging right like everything looking amazing your traps look great there's nothing better than that the only bad thing about being this size you can't fit into fashion there's no fashion stuff you can wear nowadays that's the annoying thing about looking this size and anything made by a luxury fashion designer you go from Rick Owens to Balenciaga to Saint Laurent to Celine. Um, I'm looking. For, I'm checking about guy stuff to even a Miri. There's probably there's probably a Miri bits you can't wear, being that size. That's the only thing that's annoying. So then you have to start wearing like you know muscle boy clothes, like stretchy stretchy pants and like stri in like Gymshark t-shirts. Like who wants to do that? Under Armour shirts. Like come on. That's the only annoying thing about being this size, which is why, for the most part. I've kind of lent more to the kind of, you know, European footballers kind of physique as type of as kind of my kind of, you know, um North Star, as they say. Because as much as I would want to look like this day to day, and I think there is something amazing about being a man and being able to walk into a room and be physically imposing, right? There's something really gratifying about looking like a bouncer everywhere you go. But unfortunately, you're just not gonna fit into fashion clothes, man. You're not going to fit into fashion clothes. That's the one thing that always annoys me about this sort of stuff. Like, all the stuff that I want to wear. Like, even Blinch Younger, right? They, they cut, everything's really cut, boxy and baggy. But even that, you have to wear, what, double XLs in flipping Blinch Younger. And they have, and have it fit normally. Do you know what I mean? Have it kind of be stretched and your arms are not kind of fitting on the flipping sleeves. Nah, I'd rather be slight. But big up him anyway for the work. Um, it looks absolutely incredible. I'm not going to lie. Um, he does look great. That transformation insane. Doesn't matter if he's on gear or not. Most likely he is on gear because he is Ugandan. So, you know, if he was Nigerian or Ghanaian, I'd believe he kind of put this on naturally. But because most guys, you know, from other parts of Africa where guys are big, you know, it only takes a couple of days or a couple of weeks in the gym and suddenly they develop muscles they didn't have or, you know, they did, never knew they had and shit very quickly because the African genes are strong. But I, I'm assuming it's probably gear. Most likely it's gear, I'm not going to lie. But regardless, he looks absolutely great. Big up Lancey Foe. Big up Blood Clot Lancey Flippin' Foe.